Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023, and now we just repeated for 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm sure this 2009 Nissan El Grand. This is the Highway Star Edition. It's got 99,000 kilometers on it, which is approaching 62,000 miles. Before you get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's East Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. Cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan El Grand Highway Star Edition is an eight-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category. So the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, and reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, is give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep this dash as cool as possible. So in addition to the windshield visor, you should uh, you can consider uh, a dash cover for an El Grand. Or if you want to keep it simple, get a larger bath towel or a uh, beach towel, lighter in color, and put that over there, okay? Um, anything that's going to keep the dash as cool as possible is a positive because then it's going to cool down the car a lot quicker, all right? So let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. Like I said, it's just coming in, but it, this thing is clean. Somebody took care of this. I, know, I mean, I'll show you as I show you the rest of the vehicle. I mean, it's clean. All right, key fob on your person. You're just going to crank this over as if the key was in there. If the key fob battery dies, you are able to pull it out and slide this over. This comes out like, like a regular key. Then you can insert it into the ignition. Absolutely. We got to turn this radio off. So sorry, Troy, as always. All right. 99,008 on the odometer. Show you a couple of warning lights. That one right there is your um, emergency brake. This one is a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And then this one over here, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. All right. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight out instrument cluster. That thing pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Okay. On top of the dash, you do have a couple vents, which help. Um, then you have your monitor. You are able to slide this back and forth depending on the glare. Okay. This one does have a rear camera. And then if you, can, you have your air conditioning controls, then the navigation controls, this top right button is a side camera. So let me get extend those out. So you can park within an inch of the curb, okay? So you have back camera, side camera. And then you have your radio controls, uh, cup holders, what is that? Uh, ashtray, and then a uh, little compartment here for storage. Continuing to the left, you have your glove box. It's not a gigantic glove box. I'm not. I'm, I've always said I'm not too uh, kind on or fond of those things. Uh, a little bit of storage on each door panel. Okay. Make sure. Oops. Okay. And I want to make sure that this is all the way down. Sorry. Okay. So uh, that is your again. Yeah. I said a little bit of pass or, uh, storage over here. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back and all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm pretty comfortable right where I am. Or I can slide this up if need be, maybe a couple inches, okay? It does have armrests as well. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Go all the way back. Now normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. 
non-accident vehicle from mainland. Well, these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars, all graded non-accident from the auctions. All right, and some will. Um, but because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. And we'll also help you decipher it if need be. There are dealers that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. All right, show you a couple other things uh, before you go to the back. I'm going to show you the coolest things. It does have... <laughs> Oops. It does have power curtains. All right. Try not to play with them too much. Those are really small uh, motors, and you don't want to break them, okay? Especially if the kids are up here. All right, so let's show you a couple other things. So all the way underneath the um, steering wheel, you have this guy hanging out. He's the ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. That works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. On the right side of the dash, you have your uh, mirror controls. This does have dual power sliding doors. A little compartment for uh, uh, coins or whatnot, and then two levers down here. On the right side, please don't forget that's your gas cover release, and on the left side is your hood release. Don't forget this one. On the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls. Now these two, let me see if I can do this for you. Yeah, you're probably not going to see it. So you see how small of an opening that is? It's only about an inch, okay? So the, the problem with these, there are uh, switches in the back. If your kids are playing with them, they're going to burn out the motor, so you're going to be careful of that as well. All right, let's uh, turn this off, and let's head to the middle row. It's same with these uh, middle ones. So you all get to uh, do the handle. Oops, let me show you that already. All righty. All right, so you do have a handle here that's going to let it go back or forth, depending on where you need it. Okay. Now it does have the um, the leg rest that you can uh, uh, put out, and then it does have that down here that you can. <laughs> it's not for adults or a very eh, maybe you could do it for some adults, but then um, that, that just lays down uh, flat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in like a mid middle right here uh, position. Now you can turn these seats around. There is a um, uh, a lever here you can swivel this seat and this seat this one does not swivel around okay but you can face it back with them but in a central position I'm about four inches away from the back seat to my knees each seat back does have uh, pocket storage as always be careful what you put in there you don't want to rip it on each side and there uh, a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel this one over here does have a uh, what is that how much uh, a grocery bag hook up to three kilograms is about six and a half pounds and then it does have vents that come all the way back. You see how they are? You got to make sure these are open and make sure they're facing the right way, okay? Or you're not going to, it's going to take a lot longer for the, for the uh, van to cool down, okay? And then I think that's about it. Let's uh, close this. Yeah, this is really done up nicely. Somebody really kept, uh, or took care, good care of it. It's very, very clean. All right, so here you have your rear space back here. And you see, even with that seat all the way back, look at how much space there is, okay? And then that's the switch that controls the uh, the window. Again, you wanna be careful with that, that nobody's playing with it. And then you do have cup holders on each side, all right? Now you are able to move these uh, back and forth, and it also has a lever here that you can move these back and forth depending on how much space you need. And then you are able to put them up against the side, so that explains how you can pause the video to see how that is, or come on in and we can show you. All right, let's head to the front here. All right, come on, door. Okay, let's show you the engine compartment. Going to wrap this video up. There you have it. It's a 2.5 liter V6 engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. All right, 2009 Nissan El Grand. This is one of the newest ones we have. 99,000 kilometers on it, which again, almost, uh, it were approaching 62,000 miles. Military prices are down 7,200 with an additional military discount. We'll get it down to uh, 7,000 flat. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 7,000 will include a two-year two JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 Rotax and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be their American insurance requirement, whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. 
touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award again for the second consecutive year, voted by the military. Stop by, we'll show you why. But again, uh, please don't forget, uh, two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.